and uh, just today I'm just doing a talk on I suppose coping with the COVID virus you know we're all in this together at the moment I know some people you know in early recovery are struggling you know to stay sober it's a big ask at the best of times uh, but especially not when there's a virus going on or lockdown so just to introduce this um, we'll just look at physical safety mental health exercise meditation awareness and positive mindset and just staying in contact and i'll just summarize it up for you right so the physical safety um the two meter rule which you've all heard you've seen the ads on tv you know keep a two meter or six foot distance from other people as best as you can um, so try not to get too close to people and do not let other people get too close to you so no hugging or kissing or shaking hands you can do the, the elbow if you have to um, but just the main thing is everybody will respect this at this stage so just you know um, respect yourself and respect other people hand washing and again there's a formula for that for the world health organization is it take about 40 seconds you know wash your hands wet your hands first then wash them together with soap and then wash the back of your fingers like that again um, getting in doing that in there so you get into the under the fingernails washing your thumbs like that and then also just rubbing the soap into your fingers like that you know just to make sure you get everywhere get under the fingernails and thumbs and all that so that you know everywhere is clean and then rinse them off try not to touch anything with your hands if you have a foot bin use a foot bin or pedal bin and use paper towels coughing and sneezing etiquette um, again as you say in this day and age you know a sneeze is a uh, can be dangerous a cough can be dangerous so you know cough into your elbow if you can or into a tissue and then dispose the tissue straight away not touching your face and eyes i know it's hard not to do that and sometimes we do it automatically we don't even think you know we're always poking at our eyes or our nose or our ears but you know if you can consciously try not to and if you do you know do try wash your hands again if you can just you know to keep uh, it away from you know the i suppose the mucuses and all that because if this is you know um body fluids uh transmit this disease this disease and then the social distancing as much as we don't like it um it's best just to stay at home you know as you've heard them say on the ads the government just you know do your bit and stay at home and we all have to stay at home um doesn't mean you know you can't be in contact with people you can phone them you can skype you can talk through the window whatever but you know just to stop the spread of this disease best just to stay where you are so the mental health part now this would be a big one which i think is affecting everybody not just people in recovery so it's important to, to have a daily routine you know try and stick to the routine that you probably had before even starting a new routine if you were in treatment to stick to that routine you were in there you know getting up at a set time doing certain things you know um keeping a good habit going so you know in the morning when you're getting up have your breakfast at a certain time get up at a certain time don't lie on in bed um do what you need to do if it's cleaning the house or whatever it is going out for a walk with a dog going for a jog exercising do that and keep that going um keep normality as best as you can don't let it slide because once you let it slide it's very hard to do it again or get it back up and running so always keep to your your daily routine as best as you can whatever works for you but do try and, and stick to it depression and anxiety is is rampant at this time now especially the feelings of depression and anxiety this is uh, you know un, uncharted territory that we're in there's a lot of unknowns out there nobody really knows when this will end how it will end um will it end you know not try not to dwell on that and the same with the depression feeling low because you can't uh, socialize or mix with other people you can't see certain family members etc you know there's a lot of restrictions on what we can do and that can create depression as well in people just because things are not not normal um but you know try as i say you can try to be upbeat you know what i do personally is what i find makes me anxious is listening to the news you know we all know kind of what's going on this virus is here so don't you don't have to be watching every single news broadcast that's going on 
you know, here in Ireland, we all know that we have to wait until the 5th of May before we get told if anything is going to change as far as our movement is concerned. So you don't need to know that much more, really. If you dwell on it, it will make you more depressed. It will make you more anxious. So, you know, try and avoid watching too much news or listening to the news on the radio or talk shows and even social media. You know, cut back on your social media. Don't, be, don't believe everything you read because, you know, there is a lot of fake news and you know and media loves bad news and they'll kind of hone into the bad news and make it worse so you know just don't don't entertain that if you can boredom <clears throat> and again that's what's important to have a kind of routine because boredom will set in and groundhog day will set in you know and you're going to have good days and bad days we all have had good days and bad days so far during this lockdown but you will have more and they probably will feel more exasperating in a sense. They will feel longer. So try find something to do. You know, um, the Internet is a great tool for finding things to do. And you will find you can do things, you know, but small courses or whatever it is online you're looking for. You will find if you don't have access to Internet, you know, then read maybe or, you know, find something to do at home. Um you know, some shops are still open. You can still get things. You know, you can still get pot plants. You can still get seeds. Um, so doing things at home, maybe, you know, in your garden, maybe painting or whatever it is that you can do. Try and find some, but don't try and do everything at once. You know, pace yourself out. You know, take a break here and there. You say, I'll do so much today and maybe so much tomorrow. You know, break your day down. Make it, make it as interesting as you can for yourself. Loneliness with the boredom. Yes, you know, although we're told to socially distance ourselves or socially isolate, you can still stay in contact with people. You can still phone them or text them or use Zoom or Skype or whatever, uh, FaceTime on Facebook or WhatsApp to keep in contact with people. And do keep in contact, keep in contact with your friends, your family, other people in recovery. You know, we have the Zoom group every evening at half past six during this crisis. And you can tune into that. That's no problem at all. Um, and connect with each other there's aa meetings online and a meetings online so you can connect to all of that as well lethargy going along with the depression anxiety and again lying in bed too long you know we, we're all going to feel tired because our you know our routine our daily structure has changed and we'll have times today we will feel more tired than than not you know we might, might want to sit up all night but try to stick to, you know, a normal kind of sleeping routine if you can. Um, if you are feeling lethargic, you know, it could be one of the symptoms of COVID. Maybe you have it, maybe you don't. Um, if you do feel you do have it, then do get yourself checked. That's a very important. Um, but so the lethargy could be part of that too. But just try, you know, keep active, go out for a walk uh, or a jog or whatever it is, take the dog. You know, do keep yourself moving if you can. Agitation, irritation and frustration. Again, we've all felt that so far. You know, some days are good, some days are bad. Some days you just feel, what the hell am I doing? You know, when will this everybody end? I'm sick and tired of looking at the four walls, etc., etc. You know, we've all, you know, the two kilometers is getting very boring now. It's the same walk every day, day in, and I see the same things. And, you know, yes, you know, unfortunately that's part and parcel of this lockdown. But, you know, again, you know, at least we got that. Balance meals and sleep. Yeah, again, as I say, with the routine, try and balance that and try not to eat junk. You know, put a sign on your fridge saying you're not hungry, you're just bored. <laughs> so that you don't comfort eat because, you know, it's amazing how much weight you could put on when you're just sitting on your bum and doing nothing all day. And then positivity and hope. This will end. And it will. This will come to an end. This too shall pass. We've all heard that slogan in AA. And it will pass. You know, things will change. They will get better. Viruses come and go. They've done that for millennia, you know, for eternity. We've had all different kinds of viruses. You know, we've had Spanish flu and the plague and all those things throughout our history. They've come and they've gone. And this will too as well. You know, so keep hopeful, you know, and don't listen again, as I say, to the doom and gloom of the media saying, oh, we're going to have the worst depression since the 1930s. Look. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody really knows what the outcome is going to be. But be hopeful, because if you can be hopeful and positive, you know, you will be seeing the light 
at the end of the tunnel. You will be saying, this will improve, this will get better. Life will return back to normal and maybe even better than what it was before. Maybe we've learned something. Maybe we've woken up a bit more than what we were before. And hopefully that will be the case. So as I say, exercise, walking, easy thing anybody can do. And even if you don't have that much space, say around the house, you know, try walk around something. Um, if you have a treadmill, you're lucky, you can walk on that. We all have a two kilometer area that we can walk in and a two kilometer radius is quite big when you look at it. You know, I, I do it every evening with the dog. And yes, it does become a bit monotonous because it's the same same walk, but you know, it's still, it's a long enough walk. You know, for anybody, you know, even without a crisis, I wouldn't have walked that far. In fact, I'm doing more walking now with this crisis than I ever did. Jogging, if you're into jogging, yes, you can still jog within the two kilometers. That's no problem. Online yoga. Now, there's plenty of different um, courses and things online, even more so now with this crisis and the lockdown. If you go into YouTube and just type on yoga, you know, you'll find something and you can follow it, follow it along on YouTube. Online exercise classes, the same as the yoga. There's plenty of different there's hit classes and, you know, there's Tabata classes. You name it, there's different types of classes online, which you can follow um, on your iPad or, your you know, on your phone on your telly, whatever. And then again, go back to that daily routine. Make those exercises part of your daily routine, either in the morning or the evening, or maybe both. Um, get Getting out and about, getting fresh air, you know, clearing your head, you know, that's very important for your mental health. Meditation, so a breathing technique. And a breathing technique is, you know, if you're feeling a bit stressed, any time of the day, be it first thing in the morning, middle of the day, at night, just to sit down, put your hands in your laps, close your eyes and just breathe, you know, breathe in deep all the way into your diaphragm. Hold the breath and then just release it out. And you don't have to say anything or think anything, just, just breathe, you know, even if it's just for about a minute, just breathing. And you will find that helps ground you, you know, and that you can do at any time of the day when you are feeling a bit overwhelmed or, or stressed. Guided meditation, again, like the, the yoga, there's tons and tons of guided meditations online. You know, YouTube again, through Google, you name it, you'll find something there that will suit yourself. So just look about, yes, you might have to pay for a few, you know, but that's okay, they're not that expensive. Relaxing music, <clears throat> again, if you have relaxing music, listen to that. Try and get yourself to, to chill. And silence, even just silence, just sitting in silence, quiet, listening to the birds. It's a lovely day today out today and the birds are singing and it's very peaceful. It's very, it's nice to actually have time, that we do have time now to stop and listen to nature and appreciate nature for what it is. Normally we're rushing, we're always rushing into things and rushing to the next thing and the next thing and we never stop. So, you know, take this opportunity now whilst we have it, you know, where it's enforced on us, but just to sit and just listen to nature and appreciate it. So the awareness and positive mindset, again, self-awareness, and this is a great time to become self-aware. We're always becoming aware of ourselves, and in recovery, we're always becoming aware of ourselves. But this self-awareness now is to look into yourself, you know, and just ask yourself questions, you know, who am I, what makes me tick, what makes me think, what makes me smile, what makes me sad, you know, what makes me laugh, what makes me cry, you know, and look into all those differences. And, and there's lots of different exercises, again, online you can get to help you with self-awareness. There's lots of different gurus who will help you. Um, and it's important to try and do that and just look at yourself and where you're coming from, where you're going, um, how you are. And that's important because the more you grow in self-awareness, the stronger your recovery will become. Patience, learning patience. And again, this is a great trial for everybody to learn how to be patient because again, it's been enforced on us. We have to be, you know, we have no other choice but just to be patient and wait and learn to be patient. Be patient with your children, with other family members and you're in the house with. You know, um, learn that. You know, learn to just relax and slow down. Become tolerant and tolerant with yourself, tolerant with the situation, tolerant with other people. You know, when you go to the shops and you have to stand in the queue and you're a meter standing from the front and there's other people in front of you, learn to be patient and tolerant. You know, everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's just trying the best they can to get through this. So, you know, be nice, be kind, be patient and tolerant of other people. Sorry. 
and then the self-care looking after yourself you know and that's the whole thing you know that's your mental health your emotional health physical health so do you know tune into there's lots and lots of a meetings now online um you can follow an a meeting anywhere in the world now on zoom um there's the half six group you know self-care in other places you know eat, eat healthily sleep rest you know do what you can within the confines of your home and then you can't go get a haircut or get your hair done you can't go and get a massage or go to the pool or go for a spa that's all out, out at the moment but what can you do yourself at home for yourself for self-care you know watch a comedy that's very you know have a good laugh that's the best self-care you can get be positive and challenge negativity and again as i said that before um our moods will dip and go up and down during this we'll feel good one minute and pretty bad the next um the main thing is not to kind of relapse um so it's it's just as again that hope going back that this will pass this too shall pass we'll get through this um yes it's not comfortable at the moment but you know take it in the sense that you know what are you learning from this lockdown about yourself and always go back to yourself what can i learn from this lockdown about me you know what opportunities can i take from this and you will find that there's a lot that you can do you can learn about yourself that you wouldn't have had time to do you know in normal circumstances and again as i say this too shall pass and it will stay in contact so Social distancing doesn't mean you have to be socially isolated. Sorry about that. Um, so what we say there is, you know, you can stay in contact, contact by phone, uh, through social media, uh, Facebook, um, you know, Skype, uh, Zoom, whatever. So do stay in contact with other people, even if it means talking through the window, walking up, talking through the window if you can. Or whatever it is but do stay in contact with other people you know we would isolate normally in addiction and for some people it would be a great opportunity to say well i'm alone i'm lonely i'm isolating so i might as well go drinking so that social isolation is dangerous you know we are told in recovery not to isolate and now we're in a situation where we're told we have to isolate so yes if you're living on your own it's difficult um but do try do your best to stay in contact don't wait for them to contact you you stay in contact you know you do that you know you phone people and even if it's talking through the window going on skype or zoom you know that will help you there but always have one or two people a day you can contact or chat to you know and get on to a meeting and all that if you can so staying in daily contact with other recovering people again the online meetings you know they're there they're available you know so do do avail of that you know the AA and NA Zoom meetings they run daily all the time and I've sent out links to people and if you want links contact me so White Oaks Aftercare Zoom runs daily at 6 30 as I've said and the Step Down runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m the Relapse runs on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays at 2 p.m so that's all there available for you and then reach out to other people that you feel might be struggling as well so just to summarize this so we're all in the same boat so don't panic and think god you know i'm being left behind you're not <laughs> we're all in the same situation whether you're in, in recovery or not or an addict or not we're all in the same situation we can all get through this and we can we will get through this you know this will come to an end you know sooner than later um learning to live in the moment and that's the best way you know just just enjoy what you can now don't be thinking when will this end because i know for me personally a time will come when i'll be looking back to god do you remember the days when i was sitting at home and i was spending time with my kids and you know i wasn't confined to an office and the commute and the traffic and all this stuff you know be thinking, oh, wasn't that great you know so that will happen that happens for all of us you know there will there'll be gems we can take from this moment of what we've learned about ourselves our family our friends etc um and appreciate that so it's learning to live in the moment and taking what you can what learning what you can in this moment and then helping others you know you couldn't you know that's what we're here to do we help to help each other through this crisis and it's to help people less fortunate than you people who are struggling so even if there's an elderly person in your estate or your neighborhood 
you know, knock on the window, ask them, how are you? Do you need anything? Are you doing, are you doing okay? Maybe that's all they'll need is just someone to have a chat to. Maybe they have no one to chat to. Um, even getting them a loaf of bread or a pint of milk or whatever it is, you know, you could help them immensely. So do do that because it will make you feel better in yourself as well. Right, well, that's the end of that. Thanks very much uh, for tuning in. And, you know, just you when know, we're all in it together and just stay strong and we'll, we'll see you at the other end. All right, take care. Thanks very much. All right, bye.